Hello, welcome back to Observer Redux, uh, the, two th the remake of the 2017 version of Observer. Your first card is right there. Now we're going to talk to Helen Nader first. If you don't talk to Helen Nader now, you miss this conversation. You can't get it later on. So Helen Nader is 106. Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Uh, excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. Uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. No compass. I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Oh, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter? Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago, in the plague. So she's a lesbian, but uh, her wife died uh, with nanophage. Uh, that's why she doesn't have any augmentations, because she saw what it did to um, she saw what it did to her, uh, her wife. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Oh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. So this is uh, very profound. So Laura got the digital version of the virus. And as I said, once the vi it turns the nanites inside a person's body to uh, go against the flesh. And then it creates a flu-like symptom, a biological symptom, which uh, the fomites and the flu-like uh, coughing, sputtering, gets onto other people. Um, Helen Nader here got the biological version of it and that's why she's saying it ate away her face uh, did a big job on her arm even though she's got no augmentations so you gotta understand that uh, the cleaners then came in and took away the one that had the augmentations and uh, they left her they must have been able they can treat it somewhat they can amputate parts if that's uh, a way of getting rid of it but they gotta catch it very on early on with all due respect, ma'am, you're not the only one who lost someone to the Fade. God knows I have no love for Kyrie, but they're an easy target. Is this when you tell me how we're all to blame? That's not what I... That we brought it upon ourselves. Ma'am. That we deserved the Fade? Deserved to see our loved ones die? Didn't we? We jumped at the opportunity to meddle with our bodies, but we didn't ask ourselves what the price would be. Very inspiring, officer. And very hypocritical. Spare me the lecture. I will not be judged by some corporate goon. I wish you a good night. So long, Mrs. Nader. Again, it's very hypocritical. Because no we've got augmentations. Um, you can't be a... a, a, a um, observer without having augmentations 
because she has no augmentations she's probably uh, connected to the tenant in 110 which we'll see the next video um, being the Immaculates because they have a bit of a society to themselves um, so keep that in mind uh, when we go to 110 we'll just... hello oh. anyone in there yes I'm Mr. KPD need to ask you some questions oh and who's your friend friend it's just me ma'am oh I have to go now already so if you connect uh, in the uh, logbook downstairs uh, her, the, her storage space it uh, shows evidence that she's on opium um, so she's uh, hallucinating that's sort of why she said who's your friend um, so if we go down here got another um, oh, level to How do we connect this one? Oh, good grief. Mm. I'm guessing. Where's the other? Oh, over here. These are very weird. I love the addition, it kind of reminds me of uh, Bioshock. Ah, that's uh, You still don't see, you still don't recognize to you, I'm no one, I'm nothing, zero. Just another rat in this wonderful maze of you. So beautiful, so peaceful, being so close to you. It's the only thing that keeps me going, but still, I'm afraid. Afraid that by the time you see me, it's going to be too late for both of us. Okay, I have no idea what these um, poems are about. Nothing else there. We've got some more fire and swords. So, uh, five, let's do this one. Um, again. Okay, I can remember this one. So the, all the rest of the stuff is a red herring. Don't go for it. That's all you need. To do. Okay. How do I get out of this? Oh no. I, I, I'm, I uh, can you open this door this time? Still can't open that door, okay. Um, I don't think there's anything there. Wanna get some action going soon, so KPD? Anyone in there? Can you repeat that? You noticed anything suspicious recently? Anything out of the ordinary? What? I don't know about it. Shut up about business. I didn't quite catch that. Fine. You've been very helpful. Hmm. Good night. And here comes uh That was the one there. No. All right, boy, time goes so quick. You don't get to get, uh, do much, so I'm gonna have to rush it a little bit. And there's another card here that you can pick up. Um, the killers actually, after killing that victim, went downstairs and went into the tattoo shop. Um, that that happened when we were in 
investigating in lockdown. I'm sorry. I've never opened up these doors. Nothing. That was worth it. Psst. Hey! You! Another card here. I can hear you out there. Help me, please! What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. So just help. Are you okay? It sounds like you're in pain. Oh, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure. If you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... I, I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell, it seemed uh, oddly familiar, reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. So, again, um, we will... He heard the killer. Uh, reminded him of a monster. He's uh, blind. He was the next one uh, in due for an operation in uh, the tattoo shop. Is a... Uh, sort of a cybernetic uh, um, backyard um, medical unit uh, and his eyeballs are waiting on the table down there uh, and yet here he is blind locked in a cage and you can understand how frightening that would be uh, he's uh, just standing there waiting for someone to come get him but the person that was supposed to come get him is dead KPD, I'd like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. You seem pretty laid back. You do know the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Um, sure. Well, there you go. Nothing to worry about then. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff, I, I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting too, moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? 
They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now, I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay. How about you shut the fuck up? Well, that was certainly uncalled for. Oops. Good day to you, officer. Um, this door's changed. Um, before you could see him, but uh, I don't know how he was spying on her because he doesn't have a situation. Talking about spying, you'll notice the cameras. No, they're not moving now. Well, that was interesting. In the previous version, if you move, you'll see them move along with you. So there's been some strange... Can I open this door? I was wondering why they changed this door. I just got... Uh... Hmm. I don't know. Weird. I, w <laughs> I wouldn't have put that up on my high to-do list. KPD, making the game I'd like better. to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see the husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... messed up. And then again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh... I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> that's new. Okay, so that's exactly the same as the uh, previous version. And this door is open, it's been busted open. Anyone here? There's a wall to open that door. Hands on. Chiron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. So that's Helena Nowak. Uh, she was the one that called the victim downstairs, the decapitated corpse. Uh, this is the person that we're trying to look for. So she has the lowest uh, clearance in the building. Jesus. A second victim. Badly injured, but still breathing. Said his gut slashed. 
said his throat ripped open. He's been Don't be afraid. I'm here to help. What happened here? He can't talk. Dispatch, this is Lazowski 656210. I got an emergency here. God damn it. Still no connection. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. The nodding of the head is all that we need. Don't try to talk. There's another way. That uh, is like his approval. So now we're going to mentally jack into his mind while he's still alive. Uh, because it allows us to see the electrical impulses that he's... Uh, he, he's having. We already got an ID on him. He's a he's wanted for assault, robbery, drug possession. Uh, he has served his time in prison already. All right, let's go. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. his brain. Well, I'm going to leave it there. It's 20 minutes. Until next time, bye for now.